everyone thank you so much for being here today we're going to be doing a little bit of a different video we're going to be doing describing your personality so i'm going to describe your personality um in any of these four groups so please choose group number one two three or four i don't feel like the need for crystals today so on the cards anyway so <laughs> always got my rose quartz here so please choose one of these groups take a deep breath and let's get started hello group number one thank you so much for clicking on this video let's see what your personality is like so starting off with the crystal oracle deck so we have channel deep healing and transitions so let's move this out of the way and we'll put these up here oops we've got channel deep healing and transition and then with the animal oracle we have Sing your own song, lion spirit, coyote spirit, and wombat spirit. Be generous with spirit, trust in divine detours, be at home. And we also have slow and steady wins the race. And we have creative expression, the sun, and the high priestess. Okay, so first of all, what I can see is you could possibly be a Leo or an earth sign. I'm seeing like Virgo. I'm also seeing Libra. Um, you could be actually, I don't see any water signs really here. Po actually no, possibly a water sign. So you could actually be any of the signs to be fair. So I feel like you actually, yes, probably a water sign as well because we've got deep healing. So I feel like you're the sort of person who loves to get really deep into stuff. You could also be a Scorpio, somebody who really likes getting really deep into just anything where you can kind of get your nose right stuck in there. Anything that's also very creative. I feel like you're very creative. I feel like some of you have quite pale skin as well, which is kind of what I'm picking up on. Um, definitely, some of you are a Leo. Some of you love to be bold and powerful. And I feel like you have this certain two side to you. One side is like really extroverted and one side is really introverted. I feel like when you're introverted, you prefer to be creative. And when you're extroverted, you prefer to be seen and kind of all outgoing, maybe going to parties, kind of socialising, that sort of thing. I feel like you're a sort of person that's quite stubborn or can be quite stubborn because you don't like it when people change you or want to change you. You're not the sort of person to conform and to kind of be like everyone else. You want to sing your own song, you like to be, you like to stand out or you just generally like to be completely different or you think of yourself as a completely different person, which is lovely, love that. So I feel like you are kind of at the moment watching this video, I feel like you could be stuck in a certain energy where something isn't moving forward or you're the sort of person that wants to push things to move forward when you have to actually step back and think no no we need to actually let the universe sort this out okay i feel like you're the sort of person that's also very spiritual i feel like your third eye is open quite a lot you're the sort of person that is very emotional and kind of quite can be quite attached to things and have quite a lot of sentimental value over things and i feel like you've gone through quite a few different transitions transitions in your life so i feel like you could be from around 16 to 30 i feel like um you could have had different stages in your life that have really helped you to transition and become oh and become the person that you are today okay so you're sort of person who's also very creative as i said you love to be at home you love to be with either family or just generally be at home when you feel the most safe you love to create a nice little environment for yourself and I definitely feel like you're the sort of person who loves to, like, who likes to force things. So I feel like you need to, your lesson almost in life is to learn how to be slow and steady because that slow and steady does win the race and taking time to do things can be more beneficial than rushing. I also do feel like once you're dedicated to something, you actually are quite slow and steady with it because you're t putting in so much detail and time and effort into it. Um, I feel like you could also definitely be a Libra I'm seeing or a Cancerian. You're the sort of person that loves to write. I'm seeing writing, um, reading books. Um, you love, I feel like you like romance novels if you like reading. And you love kind of anything pretty and aesthetically pleasing because you like to coordinate colours and to associate your, you have like a colour, I feel like you have like a favourite colour and you kind of bring it into everything, so maybe you wear this colour, you bring it into kind of your um, area, so maybe you love two colours and I feel like you kind of bring them together to make some sort of beautiful home environment or you, a lot of your clothing is kind of the same colour, that sort of thing. Right, what else have we got? I feel like 
like at a young age you could have gone through quite a deep healing like a deep transition where you are not the sort of, you're not the same person you are today in a sense you've gone through i feel like you could have gone through quite a lot of shit because you are quite sensitive or you're very just empathic or both the fact that where you're, where you feel quite deeply think things have really hurt you very deeply and they've kind of affected your environment where you've really had to adapt and I feel like creativity has really been a really good escape for you um and I feel like you need to make sure that your your mind doesn't take control over you I feel like if you are a creative person that does kind of come with the package um because creative people do think outside the box they think differently from a lot of people and that can come with quite a few different mental health issues so just take care of yourself and know that things will be okay and also I feel like you want to travel as well um but money could be a little bit of an issue right now um I don't feel like you're a massive traveler because you do prefer to be at home but I do think you wherever you're traveling you kind of bring something with you that makes you feel like you're at home or you feel more most comfortable when you have something with you um that sort of thing so I'm going to pull some cards from my zodiac deck and um, this doesn't mean that this will be exactly accurate if I've already mentioned any of the signs all of them in this reading um then that would be still apply okay so this won't always resonate with everyone so what sign is here for group number one okay oh Capricorn that's cool so we've got Capricorn okay what else please Leo yeah I was definitely feeling Leo I thought when's Leo gonna pop out and we've got Pisces I want you to pull out two more okay uh three more okay so we've got Gemini Taurus Virgo Scorpio and Sagittarius and that's quite a few but they they felt I definitely felt the need to pull all those out so thank you so much for watching guys if you would like to book a private reading with me all the information is down below I've got all my readings listed down below so just choose which one um, you prefer what you want also if you'd like to subscribe to my channel I would absolutely love that thank you so much for being here don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe um, if you like what you see here so thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you very soon bye hello group number two let's see what you guys got for your personality let's see what your personality is like so from the crystal grid oracle we have soul journey and angels gorgeous love that and then we also have peace of mind from the animal oracle deck we have learn from your past claim your independence make your dreams real and set healthy boundaries we also have from the tarot the chariot full queen of wands and the eight of cups okay so i definitely feel like you're the sort of person who's quite independent i feel like you think you don't really need anybody i feel like in the back of your mind you think i actually really want somebody but at the moment i feel like a lot of you who are watching this are single and you almost you could be searching for love and you're kind of you're the sort of person that is quite good at disconnecting from emotions which i don't see as a good thing but from my perspective that this is what you've kind of needed to learn throughout your life is how to deal with your emotions and how to kind of put them into reality almost kind of either using them for manifesting or in relationships kind of using them in a way where you're both balanced out where you're kind of giving enough or you're not giving too much okay so I definitely feel like you have the innate ability to make your dreams real I feel like you are a very visual person you watch a lot of YouTube possibly do photography um i'm seeing pinterest so i feel like you maybe have a lot of pinterest boards i feel like you like things that are in um neat order as well and you have the definitely the thing with emotions we've got set healthy boundaries i feel like as i say you either give too much emotion or not enough and if there's that sort of kind of imbalance i feel like you need to sort of set healthy boundaries on that sort of area okay but your angels and guides are always with you and I feel like you are quite connected with your angels. I feel like some of you could actually know the name of your spirit guides. And just letting you know that this, I feel like, is to do with your soul journey when it comes to dealing with your emotions, okay? I feel like you, you are quite well-travelled. I feel like you've had quite a few different encounters with different cultures, different countries. Possibly you are multicultured. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? Oh, okay, so you maybe have, like, um, parents who are from different countries or different cultures, different religions. So you have quite a mix um, to do with your 
uh, heritage. You are quite an independent person, as I said, so I feel like you need to actually give yourself more credit than you deserve. Not, yeah, than you think you deserve. So it's like, I feel like you are very critical on yourself or possibly quite critical on others. And this needs to almost balance out where the point that you need to actually figure out, okay, no, I'm actually being too harsh on myself. Let's kind of reel this back. I feel like there has been quite a few times where you've overthinked a lot of things and you need to actually reel this back as well. Maybe meditate that sort of thing but I feel like as I say I feel like you are quite close with your guides so if you have been meditating then that's really good because I definitely feel like you are quite an overthinker I'm seeing you could either have OCD or you ha could have some sort of anxiety when it comes to socializing um I feel like you could be a Cancerian Pisces Scorpio uh Gemini Aquarius Libra <clears throat> possibly an Aries a uh, Taurus um, we also have learned from the past, so I definitely feel like you're going to have quite a few life lessons in this life. I feel like your life has been quite, I want to say straightforward. I feel like you've had quite a few lessons that have been quite similar. And um, they kind of keep reoccur reoccurring. So this is just a kind of telling me that you need to learn from your past. Make sure you're really getting in there, really getting in deep. And if you feel like you can't connect with your emotions, I feel like that's the point where you actually need to connect with them because I feel like if you feel like something is repeating too much, then um, that could be an issue. I feel like you could also love maths or you love um, science, something that's putting things together. You could like mixing drinks, um, building things. So you could also be a Virgo as well. And you love to kind of, yeah, you love building things, being tactile with your hands. I feel like you could also like cooking, so mixing ingredients together. I feel like you like following a recipe because it's very, very kind of like it's in there in writing and you can kind of follow it step by step. Um, I feel like you could also like building Ikea furniture because it's kind of step by step. But I feel like you could also find it a little bit difficult. Um, and I feel like you're definitely more strategical in the sense that you are more of a strategical thinker than a deep thinker and I feel like a lot of this is definitely to do with your emotions and I feel like you have two minds and things so I feel like you could even be of a workaholic and um, you could need to the two minds is like balancing out um, your work mind to your emotional mind a uh, strategical mind to your emotional mind as well and I feel like you, a lot of you could actually be bisexual I feel like you could also like men and women um, if not, this obviously doesn't apply to everyone, but I feel like this could be that. Because I'm kind of looking at a chariot and the black and white, um, I don't know what these are called, totally gone out of my head. But yeah, so I'm seeing that as well. I definitely feel like you could like things in neat boxes as well. And you like the colours black and white together too. Okay, um, also I feel like your house is quite minimalistic. Um, I'm seeing like not a lot of things going on in your house. You like balance and you like cleared things you like a clear space so you can think clearly as well so also i think you like sketching um i feel like some of you like drawing or sketching but you only use kind of one medium so maybe like one pen or a pencil that sort of thing i can see you writing scripts uh for films uh scripts for tv shows that sort of thing so i feel like you really like getting into the characters and i feel like you almost embody the character that that, that you are writing for so I'm just going to have a look at the zodiac signs. Obviously it doesn't have to resonate with everyone, but let's just see what we have here. I feel like some of you wear glasses as well. And some of you have blue eyes and green eyes. I feel like some of you could also have two different coloured eyes as well. And they're telling me not to put up a shell. Stop putting up a shell. Stop putting up a wall. Stop putting up boundaries. Sorry, they're being very sassy today. So we have Libra. Yeah, so I feel like you kind of have to, you're trying to figure out your own balance. Taurus, stubbornness of Taurus. Yep, sorry guys if you're a Taurus, but some of you are really stubborn. <laughs> um, that's like the bad side of Taurus, and I know not everyone's like that. I'm getting Pisces, but it hasn't come out yet. Oh, no, there it is. <laughs> it literally just fell on the floor. I thought I was quite disconnected today, but thank you, Inverse. That's kind of... <laughs> that's helped me today. Give me a pe piece of mind. I'm feeling Capricorn's going to come out too. Like a red. I'm seeing red. Oh, no, orange. Okay. So I'm also seeing um, Aries as well. Aries and Capricorn. So thank you so much for watching. If this resonated with you, uh, comment down below. Obviously, if this doesn't resonate, please don't hate me. Um, 
<laughs> this is a new thing that I want to try. If it didn't resonate, I apologise. Pick another group or just kind of let it fly. Thank you for watching. Um, if you would like a private reading with me, all the information is down below. And like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you very soon. Bye. Also, um, group number two, they're telling me that you have trouble deciding and you like sweets, okay? I don't know if that resonates, but they wanted me to tell you that. I found it really, really important, so just thought I'd say that, okay? Thank you for watching. Bye. Okie dokie, group number three. How are you guys doing? Let's see what your personality is like. Let's see what I can pick up. So, let's see what we have from the Crystal Grid Oracle. Solutions, love, emotions. Oh, I like that. Nice contrast we got. So we've got romantic partner, gorgeous. Watch your words. <clears throat> the miracles are endless. Let spirit be your guide. And hummingbird. I'm getting kind of Taurus or Capricorn vibes. I'm getting someone who's quite intense and quite concentrated on relationships. I feel like you are fueled by relationship. You're fueled by your friends. And I feel like this has almost kind of distracted you from a lot of things that you need to be doing. I feel like your words could be quite intense. Um, they can be quite aggressive and quite um, piercing. I feel like you could be a Scorpio. Uh, somebody kind of lashes out and stings. But also somebody who's had to manage their anger. I'm seeing someone who just needs to be careful of what they say. Or this could generally be the fact that you have quite a lot of emotion, um, sorry not emotions, you have quite a lot of words in your head like overthinking and you say things that shouldn't be said. Okay, uh, let's see you in from the tarot because I've got to do this so let's do the tarot now. Please tell me about group three's personality, thank you. I feel you're quite intelligent though, you're very intelligent, you love to really get in the detail of things, you're very curious, I feel like you're very very curious. Okay. I feel like you like to rush things as well. You're quite a fast, or you're quite a fast thinker. So we have the Nine of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Two of Wands, Nine of Wands, Seven of Wands. Okay, so I feel like you've got to be careful to not, uh, not to judge a book by its cover, they're telling me. Because I feel like you're quite stubborn. Um, in the sense that you know the sort of partner you want, you know, you know the sort of people you want to hang around with and sometimes this can be, it also can affect who you also hang around with and who you can be inspired by. So I feel like you're quite open to being inspired by people but it can take a long time for you to actually physically um, cross that threshold. I feel like it's quite similar to me, I feel like this kind of reminds me of, um, so if someone says, oh do you want to watch a film? I say what what sort of film and then they tell me the sort of film and I have to really kind of battle with how much I actually want to watch this film and is this film really good and oh I don't know if I should because you know I could be doing something better with my time. It's something like that where you have to take a bit of time to actually really get into something. So you almost have to warm up to certain things. So certain situations, certain people, films, um, TV shows. I don't feel like you're a Netflix binger. You could be. But I don't, I'm not getting that. I feel like you're quite um, strategic with your mind. You're very, what's the word? Control, not controlling, but controlled. I feel like you're very controlled over your emotions, over your thinking. And I feel like you need to make sure that, re that relationships don't control your whole life. They're telling me as well. Um, but I feel like you definitely have some sort of thing with solutions and emotions. There's definitely a connection there. Um, I feel like you could, you, you are very controlled of your emotions, you are, you have a good control over it. And in sense of love, definitely love is fueled by your life. I feel like you could have your north node in Libra. Um, and this Libra is to do with Venus and Venus is love and I have that. So a lot of my life is to do with relationships and conjuring how to deal with them, how to how to deal with relationships and how to deal with that balance. So you could have this as well. So you could also be a Libra. Um, definitely love is very, very important to you. Obviously it's important for all of us. I feel like love is at the forefront of your mind a lot of the time. You are very generous, you're very giving, um, but you do have a side to you that is quite intense. Um, okay, so you could have an issue with overthinking. I feel like you might have an issue with kind of being in the moment, being here now. So just letting you know that spirit is here to guide you and um, you have a lot coming towards you as well in terms of miracles. I do feel like you like to do things quite quickly. You know what you want out of life. You're very kind of, you're very intelligent. Like you know 
how to deal with things, you know how to deal with people. I feel like you're very in intuitive. You're very good at picking up on people and how to how to read them. You're very good at reading them. Your intuition is very almost piercing. It like pierces into people. And I think this can also affect your relationships in the sense that people can almost sense that you're doing this, but it can be an unconscious thing. Like they might not even know that you're doing it, but con unconsciously they do know. Um, and this could be like even detrimental to your relationships but I feel like you definitely want somebody who's on a balanced level with you because I feel like a lot of the time you've had quite a few different people in the past that have not matched up to your level and I feel like you're also very good with your money as well um, I feel like you like jigsaw puzzles and there's something else oh you like colouring in, in between the uh, in between the lines or in the lines they're telling me in between the lines um, oh they're telling me some of you colour in between the lines and some of you colour in the line. So some of you like to do things that are different from everybody else. Um, could be that as well as um, you like um, num colouring to numbers. So say like you have those pictures and they're plain. It has one, two, three, four and five. And like one is red and two is green. And you have to like do that. And you like that because it's very kind of controlled. And it's in a... But it's still fun. Okay. You like the creativity and you like jigsaws and things like that. I feel like you also like roller coasters. Um, you're quite a thrill seeker or you like things that are quite intense and fast. Um, okay, so I really hope this resonates with you. Oh, also let's, <clears throat> sorry, <laughs> let's get your zodiac sign. Ooh. Yeah, we've got Capricorn here. Obviously this doesn't have to resonate with every one of you, so just bear that in mind. I am seeing a Taurus, definitely Taurus energy here and possibly water signs possibly virgo as well leo scorpio i was definitely feeling scorpio for this one as well and then we also have aquarius and cancer and underneath we have sagittarius and virgo so thank you so much for watching this video if you'd like to get a private reading with me all the information is down below feel free to subscribe like and comment if this resonated with you if it doesn't resonate then just let it fly so thank you so much for watching and i'll speak to you very soon bye hello group number four let's see what your personality is like okay so we're going to start off with the crystal grid oracle so we have insight, love that, so pretty. Transformation, ancestors, passion. And then we'll have spirit has a plan. Butterfly spirit, transformation is beautiful. Groundhog spirit, time to let go. Chameleon spirit, act as if. And otter spirit, you are never alone. We also have stand your ground. And then in the tarot, we have the chariot, three of wands and a hermit. So the first thing I can see is you like to be alone or you like to have your own space. I feel like you are constantly battling with, I want to go out, but I want to stay in. I like being with my friends, but I also need some alone time. I feel like your job could also be quite exhausting for you because you are quite a hermit. You'd like to be in your own space. Um, and you also have, yeah, just this, you're trying to just generally balance out things. Um, I feel like your heritage is very important to you. I feel like you like looking at your family tree. I feel like maybe you could have done one of those things where you spit in a tube and send it off and then they kind of see what is in your um, heritage. So I feel like you like that sort of thing or you just generally like looking at history. You like history books. Um, you love looking at kind of old buildings anything that has some sort of history to it you're like hell yeah i feel like you could like documentaries and things like that as well where there's kind of history to things and you love deep conversations with people where you can really kind of figure out where they're from and how far they've come and what they've been through in their life things like that and i feel like you kind of feed off of that and you get a really good sense of learning from that which is really nice i feel like it's also your passion to kind of be very intuitive and kind of in like i feel like you are quite an intuitive person but i feel like you're also um you love to look deep into things and you have a passion for that and for history and for... I feel like you're, you're quite a conservationist, if that's the right word. You're like really caring for the planet. I think that's the right word, not sure, but you're very good at caring for the planet. You really want to make sure that you, your children have a good life, that your fu or future, or future children have a good life and um, things like that. And you're kind of very conscious about the environment and that sort of thing. I feel like you could also be an earth sign. 
So I feel like you are kind of going through a transformational period or you have gone through quite a few intense transformations. You've had battles with um, certain situations that have really affected you in your life. And but it's been really positive because it's caused you to have a lot of good insight into how you really um, deal with life and how you want people to treat you. And I feel like you have a lot of knowledge. I think you like to share that as well. You could be a public speaker, a YouTuber, an actor, someone who speaks a lot for their job. Um, you could also be a journalist, I'm seeing. Um, but I feel like you are very cuddly. You love to love, essentially. Um, you are love is very very important to you obviously is it all to us but for you guys i feel like it's very very important for you to have a partner i feel like you do like to be cuddly with somebody you love to kind of sit at home and be with somebody <clears throat> and i feel like you have quite a lot of you, you think outside the lines that like you think outside the box in terms of your personality and your and your mind and the way that works in that way and i feel like you actually have um, quite an intense connection with relationships and I feel like this can be quite um, I don't know how to word this like quite intense in the sense that you are with somebody and you never want to let them go but sometimes you need to learn to let go of things um, when they don't serve you anymore I feel like you could be a Cancerian a Virgo Libra Gemini someone who it's just someone not I'm not saying these signs are that sort of person that was what I was suddenly picking up on you are the sort of person who is very, very close to their friends. Your friends are your family. Your family is your family. Um, and I feel like you need to make sure that people don't do you wrong or do you over sort of thing. In the sense that make sure people don't really hurt you when you should really even let them go. That sort of thing. And I feel like you can have quite an intense time trying to decide on things. You're, you're not very good at making decisions, I don't feel like. Or it can take you quite a long time to make a decision. Um, I feel like you're always looking out to what's in the future when actually you should be in the now. Um, obviously plan and things like that, but I feel like you you have quite negative thinking or you can have a habit of having negative thinking. Um, you are very good at transforming. We have transformation twice here. So I feel like you are really good at transforming. I feel like you could be a Scorpio as well with a death and rebirth sort of thing. You're really good at shedding your old skin and kind of getting into okay, what do I need to improve in this situation? You're the sort of person who also is quite critical of yourself. You always want to improve and this can be quite critical on you. Like you look at Instagram and you're like, oh, these people are so pretty and I'm not. Or, or this person's got a lot of money and I haven't. But at the end of the day, like just focus on yourself and you're doing an amazing job. Like the fact that we've got transformation twice is fucking cool. <laughs> it's so good. I feel like you could have also had an actual physical transition. Um, possibly a um a gender change or you could have had um surgery um to enhance things or to remove things um you could also have dyed your hair it's just some sort of like um thing that you're changing about your body as well so you probably could have quite a lot of tattoos piercings um you could like your um, nails done I think you like makeup as well. I think you like changing out your makeup look and you love bright colours. Um, they're letting me know that spirit has a plan for you. So you will keep transforming. And unfortunately, sometimes it can be quite a deep transformation. But I feel like that's why maybe you are in hermit mode quite a lot. Because you know how how um, important your time is. And how you prefer to even just stay and be here on your own. Just so you can just kind of have your own space. And because you are transforming quite a lot, you prefer your own space because you're not being interfered by everybody else's energy sort of thing um and we also have the seven of swords and judgment so i feel like it's just making sure that you are looking out for people who don't have your best interest and if they don't it's time to let them go um because you have kind of some really good people on the horizon but just take that leap sometimes it's worth taking that leap i know it's hard to decide sometimes whether to keep them in or not but i think that's something you need to learn through your life and i feel like a lot of people have helped you transform because they've really kind of um jumbled up your life but in a good way in a good way and i feel like you have had quite some some quite interesting relationships some fulfilling some not so fulfilling but i feel like a lot of you who are single are looking for love here so we've got sagittarius 
Yeah, you are a deep thinker. I feel like you like stories as well. You love really getting into stories and the characters. You love TV shows where you can really get into the characters. You're quite emotional about TV characters or film characters when they die and stuff like that. Aries. Cancerian. Let's see what else is here. Definite water signs here. Water and fire is really like prominent here. I'm not really seeing any air signs. I'm feeling air signs, but I'm not seeing it. Uh, I'm not really seeing an earth sign, possibly, but I'm not really too sure. I could be seeing Virgo, actually. Um, and these two. Yep, there it is, Virgo and Gemini. We also have Scorpio underneath, so I definitely feel like a lot of you are a Scorpio or a Libra. So a lot, a lot of star signs, essentially. So thank you guys so much for watching. If this resonated with you, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to. All the information about my private readings is all uh, in the description box down below. So thank you so much for being here, and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye.